With voiceover recording, what we're trying to do is get the signal to noise ratio right. So it means lots of signal, i.e. our voices, and as little noise, that is to say the background noise as possible. Um, one of the things you might want to do is check your room tone to get a nice low noise floor. But how do you measure? How can you actually see the figures, whether you've got minus 50 or minus 60 dB, uh, for your noise floor? Well, let's take a look using Audacity. Okay, so I'm going to just take a look at um, recording some room tone. And room tone is, is essentially the sound of your room, and it should be fairly quiet or as quiet as, as possible, depending on external noises. And, and it's very difficult in a domestic environment to get it totally quiet. So I'm going to check my room tone now. This is how you can check yours at home. So basically, just open up Audacity, then be quiet and press record for a few seconds. OK. So there, just working backwards on, the, on this thing here, you can see here I've got some um, some little dots. I don't know what they were. And then there's a click here. Uh, that's me turning off the computer. So let's get rid of that and let's get rid of this. So I want the line to be as flat as possible. Then I'm just going to highlight it and then just listen. But what I'll do is I'll check this meter here, which is the speaker meter. Um, and that's really what's being played out, what it what it's detecting. So that's the microphone, that's the speaker. And let's have a look what it comes up at here. So if I just press, I've highlighted this bit here. Look, if I just be quiet and play it, you can see here, can you see that? If I play that again, the green meters left and right are coming up to minus 48. So it's quite high, quite a high room tone, really. And I'd try and get that a bit lower. What you can do is use noise reduction. Let's try that, see what happens. So I'll go to effect and then noise removal and repair noise reduction, get the noise profile. That's going to sample this here. It's now sampled it. And now I want to go back, back to effect, noise removal and repair, noise reduction. And I want to say, OK, so it's going to remove some of that noise. Now, remember, we were peaking at about minus 48. So let's see what it is now when I press play. Can you see that? So here's the bit I roughly round there. It was that bit that I press noise reduction. And in fact, if I play the whole thing, let's try that. So remember about here, Whoops, about there, it was where I applied the noise reduction. And let's see what the noise floor goes down to. So let's play it right from the beginning. There we go. Look, speaking about minus 48, and now it disappears. It should come back again at the end. That was the bit I didn't apply the noise reduction. So one of the ways to get your room tone down is to use noise reduction. Or you can just get a, a quieter a quieter area in your room. I probably need far more, uh, far more blankets and duvets and stuff around. Um, in fact, as I speak now, I can hear a, a, a motorbike going by. <laughs> so well, it's one of the problems of, of working in a domestic environment. But probably minus 48 might not be too bad. Um, but you try to get it down. I mean, it, a lot of things like ACX and so on, they, they want you to get minus 60, which would be round about here. So if you watch it drop down, there it is, and then it goes to nothing and then comes back up again. So it's peaking sort of not, not quite minus, what's that, about minus 50. But once I applied noise reduction, it, it went down to there.
But if I can use foam and stuff, I'd probably put some foam around the mic on this bit. Um, I could probably get it down even more naturally without actually using the uh, the noise reduction system. But noise reduction is always a backup support for you to get that that room tone, that noise floor, nice and nice and low. Okay.